I think it started when uh, Dad got his convertible and he just used to drive past school and everyone used to stare at you. And I thought, oh, I've got to have one of those. What is it about the Beetle that inspires such devotion? After all, it's just a piece of machinery locked in a chassis that resembles a disgruntled insect. But to Charmaine French and hundreds of thousands of people all over the world, Beetles are more popular than the band with the same name. I mean, there's plenty of cars like with better, you know, air conditioning, electric windows, all that kind of stuff, but um, it's just something about them that they're just so great and just gonna, I just love them. Close relatives of the Volkswagen were used during World War II, and it was actually Adolf Hitler himself who decreed that the car should look like a Beetle. You have to look to nature, he said, to find out what streamlining is. By March 1946, 1,000 beetles a month were flowing out of the factory, and things could only pick up from there. And they did. The Volkswagen cuts most gas bills in half. Ever wish you owned a Volkswagen? Charmaine actually owns 600 Volkswagens, the small ones, and heaven knows how long she chats on the phone. Even at her wedding, the guests of honour were beetles. And everyone remembers the wedding for the cars. That's it, really. Not us. Just the cars. It's all it was in the 60s that the Beatles really took off, about the same time I did, actually. Ah, oh, nostalgia. Another person who remembers when the good times rolled is Steve Rhodes. And today, he looked forlornly down on the space once occupied by his mighty 66 Volkswagen. Well, unfortunately, fell victim to the dreaded rust. And um, the repair bill was just so horrendous. They said, you know, um, the, it would be uneconomical to repair it. And so, ideally, would you have liked to have replaced it with another Volkswagen? Well, yes, um, but the, the trouble was um, there was pressure, pressure for my wife to um, upgrade. Now, some beetle owners have stories that rival fishing tales, but Steve swears by this one. It had been raining and the road was flooded, and there was water across the road, and I misjudged the depth of the water. So I plunged into it and actually disappeared. The water just came straight over the top of the, um, the bonnet. And now I kept going. And I had no, no choice. <laughs> and, and emerged out the other side, okay. and they were unscathed. While Charmaine collects Beetle models, Steve collects Beetle books, and this one's a collector's item. Yeah, so this is actually like the Volkswagen owner's Bible, how to keep your Volkswagen alive, a manual of set-by-set -set procedures for the complete idiot. And it was written uh, for all these drug-crazed freaks back in uh, the 60s in California who didn't have any mechanical knowledge whatsoever. <laughs> Volkswagen stopped making Beetles back in 79, but the clamour for a new model was overwhelming. And as from tomorrow, the Beetle returns to Australia, with a few changes. Bit of a worry. Somebody's nicked the engine. With the new Beetle, of course, you do get more safety features. There's four airbags, there's anti-lock brakes, there's traction control, stability control. The list is endless. Demand's very high. Nearly everything is sold out for the first two months. And at Austral Motors, Trisha Foster prepares to drive the first new model out into the rain. There's flowers, of course. After all, it's a big occasion, and the car will actually be used to promote the Deaf Society. So, a new car for Trish? How about Steve? Well, I don't know. I'd have to have a look at it, I think. Yeah, um, from what I've heard, it might be a bit too electronic. to give it a try, and the verdict? It's a bit like driving a spaceship. You know, it's so roomy and um, quiet compared to um, the old days. Um, it's a bit like standing on the bridge of the Battlestar Galactica. Um, the one thing you really miss is that metallic, throaty roar, you know, that you used to get back in the good old days. You know, that's gone, and, um, you know, uh, even though it's an excellent car, you know, it's really not a substitute for the old Beetle. No matter, there's scores of people waiting for the new Beetle, and something tells me that this time it's here to stay.